Can, can I say to my right honourable friend that I think he's properly fulfilling the words he gave on the 30th of April 2018 that lease holders would not be left in the lurch, and everyone on all sides of the House yeah, would be yeah. grateful for that. We understand that the Minister of State wasn't able to make a statement like this at the meeting yesterday, and we fully understand that, where the right member for Limehouse and Poplar chaired the meeting which had the UK Cladding Action Group present and many other experts, and I hope that what was said there will be passed on to the Department, because it's very important that we go on making progress, and we're grateful for the lead the Secretary of State has given. I want to add this point to him. It is vitally important that he and his permanent secretary acknowledge the role of leasehold knowledge partnership, who were the first to identify that there wasn't a simple solution. They were the ones who caused the government to commission the law commission to look into the problems of leasehold. And I would ask him that his officials and lease, the government's leasehold advisory service, respect Martin Boyd and Sebastian O'Kelly, without whom no Member of Parliament would be able to get as far as we have done together across the Chamber. Hey. Well, I recognise, as, as he rightly points out, the contribution of many people to the, uh, the, the steps that have been taken, the technical and other information that has been, I think, uh, essential in helping to uh, inform and also to assist in the taking of uh, robust action uh, where required. And we will certainly continue to engage uh, in that way. And I, I pay tribute to uh, I pay tribute to him, my right honourable friend, because he has been a passionate advocate in relation to the rights of leaseholders as well as others across this House. And I think that that pressure and that contribution has really helped to make a difference. Mm -hmm.